Yo, in this video, I'll tell you everything new in the Jolly Village event for Lumion Legacy. There are quite a few things that got added in this event, and it is insane. Honestly, one of the best events we've ever gotten. To get to the Jolly Village, you have to go to the hub section and click on Jolly Village in the hubs. When you enter, you'll be greeted with a cutscene with this elf over here and the Christmas tree. This is the main storyline quest for the roaming. The first quest is to get a Festifer. To get a Festifer, you can go hunt in the wild and get a cradle, and then you can get decorative lights for 100 Jolly Cookies. The Great Gift Exchange is back from last year's event and you get daily boost tokens. There is also a star item for the main Christmas tree storyline thing. And once you get the Christmas tree star, then you can get the daily boost tokens. Here is the event shop and for 100 decorative lights, you can get the Cradle Evolution Festifer for the first part of the storyline quest. Snowflake discs are back as well as Frost Blossom discs and Coal discs. The Aklo saddle is back and we got a new saddle for Isigul. I'll show you a clip of that. And gummies are also back, so TB training will be less annoying for as of right now. There are a few new reskins and Lumians. I first talk about the reskins. There are seven different Scorb colours, as you can see on the Christmas tree, and I've got them in my party as well. There is this blue Scorb, another blue Scorb, and there are three generic red and green Christmas patterns. I've only got two of them, but the third one's very similar to this. And we also got a green one, which looks pretty cool. There's also a really rare one that is a transparent black one. I'll show you an image on the screen. It is pretty cool, it is a rare one, it's like Strawberry Swirl, how it's like rarer compared to other swirls. This transparent Scorb is actually rarer than the other patterns. And these Scorbs have Alphas and do not have Gammas, I've not seen a single Gamma being found. This one's a purple one, I'm pretty sure it's the green Alpha one. And Alpha Black Scorb has got a black ring around it, not very good, but it's still pretty clean. Another reskin is a Metronet reskin, yes, the Halloween Lumion Metronet has a Nutcracker skin on it. And it's got an Alpha version that is green. We don't know if it's got a Gamma or not, I assume it does have a Gamma, as most roaming reskins have a Gamma. The odds for it I'm not too sure yet, it's either on screen right now or in the comments. And another reskin is a Isigul reskin. Instead of colours we got patterns this year, they are 1 in 640 odds just like the last years. There's a red pattern, a purple pattern and a green pattern, I assume it's the fourth pattern but I've not found it yet. And as well as that there are also normal Isiguls that are found at a 1 in 30 chance I believe, or 1 in 40, I'm not too sure yet. But they're the same odds as last year. These Isigul have alphas and gammas, I believe, because why wouldn't they? And Christmas Cradle has also returned as well as Snow. Snow the rat rare for the actual event. It's a 1 in 40 chance. I found a gamma one last year and that got me 10,000 views. So that's pretty cool. And the second event quest for the roaming is to get five different Scorb patterns on the Christmas tree. Then you've got to talk to her with five different Scorbs in your party and you'll see that the Christmas tree has ornaments on it now. Now for the new Lumians. There are three new Lumians added into this event. The first one is Missile Bud. Missile Bud is quite common, it's about a 1 in 8 chance, it's pretty common. And what's interesting about Missile Bud is that it's got no range attack stat at all, and it's got a 9 melee attack stat, so what does that mean? Well it's got a gimmicky ability where its range attack stat is equal to its energy. So right now it's got like 122 energy, that means its base stat for range attack will be 122, which is insane. Very cool how that works, I'm pretty sure it can reach like 300 energy when it actually evolves. And to evolve Missile Bud, you have to get the Decorative Lights again. Decorative Lights cost 100 cookies in the shop. You have to give it to your Missile Bud, then you've got to use an Exchange Gem. Exchange Gems basically makes your Lumion evolve when it has to do with the trading evolution. You have to trade with the Decorative Lights to evolve it, but with the Exchange Gem, which you find from UMV dives in the Fossil Place, you guys probably have a bunch of these, you can then evolve it. If you do not have any Exchange Gems, you can just get a friend to trade with you and trade back with you. And here's the evolution, it is a pretty cool one, it's a Wreath. I kind of do like the first evolution more, but it's okay. The second Lumion is Cryo Cub. It's pretty cool, it's shivering in the cold. It's a pure ice type, but actually evolves into an ice brawler type. To evolve Cryo Cub, you have to give it Brawn Boost. It's a rally move, and you can also get it by level up. It evolves into a massive badger, it looks very cool, it's an ice brawler type. And it's a melee defensive and attacking Lumion. And the final Lumion is the roaming, which you can do by completing the whole quest. The last step of the quest is to get the star. The star can be found in this gift exchange mini game as the best prize. I'll give you some tips on how to actually win this mini game and get the most cookies. So let's go have one run of it right now. There's also a leaderboard for most cookies collected and the most coal collected. If you want to look at that, it's not really worth it. You don't really get any prizes for it. When you enter, the first thing you want to do is actually click on the second to the right present. That's what I always go for. Also, make a camera so that you're the bottom present on the screen. That is a very good strategy as you can always check and know where your gift is and you also know where the gift you're checking is all the time. You don't get confused with any other gifts and any other POVs. And when I checked this red gift, I could see it only had 6 or 8 cookies, I'm not too sure, but it's a pretty bad gift. So I'm not going to go for the red gift, that is one you avoid. One of the people next to me has got 4 cookies, so I'm going to avoid the light green and black presents. This guy just set up with a Lumi boost, so I believe him. 
If someone checks any other gifts at the start, I recommend avoiding those gifts because they're most likely going to go for it and they won't have enough power to actually steal the gift that people may want. It's not really worth risking going for a high power on a gift you don't really know. So I recommend avoiding the gifts people check. Also, my hint said I've got high value, so I'm actually going to keep this gift. You mainly want to get... Oh, this NPC just stole it. You mainly want to get a uh, 10 to a star gift. So you want to get 10 cookies, 12 cookies, or 15 cookies. They're all high value gifts, so it doesn't really matter going for a higher one. You just want to get one of the top three, as most players... This NPC stole my gift again. Are you kidding me, dude? I got six that time. But I would have had the star, but someone stole it. NPCs are annoying and they're very luck based, but I recommend just using the hints you've got so you can get a gift higher than 10. And once you have the gift you want by the second turn, I recommend saving the 3 for your gift so you can actually keep it for the third round guaranteed. And once you get the star, you can get daily boost tokens as I said earlier, and I'm going to spend the star for the final step of the roaming. Here we go, here's the cutscene. I've got the star, I'm going to put it on the top of the tree, and then some other star appears I believe. Mr. Jolly will be so proud of me, let's go see what happens. Goodbye, elf. The cutscene appears where the star actually gets zapped by another star in the distance. Zoom. And it gets zapped into the bell, and we get the new roaming. This is Celesting. It's a metal light type. It looks very cool. Honestly, one of my favorite roamings so far. And let's go see if my first one's an alpha or not. It's not an alpha, of course. It is a soft resettable Lumion, so you can catch it as many times as you want and then keep the one you actually want. You can only catch this once. Once you capture it, you cannot get it ever again. Well, except for the wild. It actually gets put in the wild after you capture it once. And it is a 1 in 1000 chance in the wild. It does not evolve. It's a pretty cool one. Its secret ability is that once it gets hit by a contact move, it actually uses its allies' moves. It's very gimmicky secret ability. Here are space stats. It's got really high health, high range attack, and also high energy. It's also got pretty decent speed, so I recommend putting it as nimble when you do PvP with it. And yeah, I'm going to hunt for the alpha version and actually show the alpha version in another video. And I'm pretty sure that is everything in the Christmas event. That is a pretty long list of things we got this event, so good job developers. But everyone was just wondering where Atlantean Part 2 is. Like, come on, why can't they add Atlantean Part 2 yet? I also forgot to mention a few things. You can actually evolve Tundralin finally. Fire's Evolution Tundralin requires you to level up in the snowstorms, so you can do that now. Snow's Evolution Strissicle can also evolve in snowstorms only, so Wintrix is now obtainable. And roaming such as Wobblisk and Akalos are actually back. Wobblisk is in the actual roaming table where all the Duskets, Protagons and stuff like that are rolled. And Akalos has got its own table, similar to Nevermare's table in this year's Halloween event. You can get Akalos on a separate table with the new roaming Celesting. I'm also going to be hunting Celesting live on my YouTube channel, so make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications for that. That is literally everything in the event, so... If you guys found this video helpful, please subscribe for more. I believe everything has got alpha and gamma versions except for the Scorb. The Scorbs just have alpha versions. And I'm going to be doing a tier list with every single alpha and gamma added at this event, as well as all the Lumions, so subscribe for more Lumion Legacy content. And I will see you guys in another video. Goodbye.